All right, let's make a new document. We're going to stick with 10 inches by 8 inches landscape orientation. All right, this time we're going to do the two-point grid. Let's go to view, perspective grid, two-point perspective normal view. Okay, from here, the grid will look a little different to you. This grid has a horizon line. The vanishing points are off the picture plane. And we see two grids, the left grid and the right grid. And now imagine if this was a building. We see the edge or the corner. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. So get your zoom tool and hold Alt on your keyboard. Zoom out a little bit. Now you can see there's the vanishing points. There's two of them, one, two, and they're off the picture plane, which is making this building pretty wide and, you know, uh, realistic in terms of its dimensions. Let's get the perspective grid tool. All right, click it. Your grid is now active and you can edit the grid. All right, right now the horizon line by default is cutting the picture plane in half. It's centered. You know, go ahead and play around with that. Bring the horizon line up or down. Okay, this is the ground line. You can actually grab the ground line, one of those dots, and you can pull the whole grid up and down. Notice it's just moving the entire thing. All right, how about these three gray dots right here? If you grab the one to the left, you're actually editing the right grid. See how it's swinging out or swinging in? All right, now I want these to match. I want the corner. I want that edge. So I'm going to grab this dot right here and pull the left grid over. Okay, so now the edge is skewed to the right. It's not centered anymore. All right, let's go ahead and draw our first cube in two-point perspective. It's going to be below the horizon line. All right, right now, let's go over to your mini cube. We have the perspective grid tool active. Let's go to your mini cube. Let's click on the right-hand side. It will actually say right grid because in two-point perspective, now the right side is also a perspective grid. All right, let's go get your rectangle tool, choose a fill color. Okay, and now go ahead and draw a rectangle below the horizon line. Okay, it's automatically going to recede to the vanishing point on the right. All right, next up, we need the left side of this cube. Go back to the perspective grid tool, go to the mini cube, click on the left grid of the mini cube, get your black arrow, deselect, click away so that this guy's no longer selected. All right, get your rectangle tool, choose a different fill color. All right, and now start at the top, drag out, and then down to the bottom. My smart guides kind of got in the way, so I couldn't see. So I'm going to do that again. All right, I'll start at the bottom and see if that will give me less interference. Yep, so see how my smart guides are sort of blocking it? That's okay. I'm just going to draw it, and it did match up. If yours didn't get all the way there, you can edit with your black or white arrows. All right, so we have the left plane, we have the right plane, but this is below the horizon line, so we should be able to see the top of this cube. Let's go do it. All right, click away to deselect. Let's go back to the perspective grid tool. Let's go back to your mini cube. Let's click on the bottom of the mini cube for the horizontal grid. Make sure you deselected your previous rectangle. All right, I'm going to change colors for the top. Okay, I'm going to start at the 
left hand side and I'm going to drag back to the right hand corner and deselect so that I have the top of my cube. Okay, so we've got one cube, it's below the horizon line, and it's skewed to the right. Let's go back to your perspective grid tool. Let's swing the grid. So grab this dot right here. This is the dot for the left grid. Let's pull it over to the left. All right, then let's grab the dot for the right grid. There's mine right there. And let's pull it up to match the corner edge. All right, all we've done is move the grid to the left. All right, we're going to draw another cube above the horizon line now. Let's go to the perspective grid tool. Let's go to your mini cube. Let's click on the left grid to make the left side of this cube. All right, make sure you've deselected everything. You've clicked away, you've deselected. Let's get that rectangle tool. I'm going to get the fill color I've been using for the left planes. All right, and I'm going to click and drag out to draw the left side of that cube. All right, next up, we need the right side of this cube. All right, click away to deselect with your black arrow. Get that perspective grid tool. Go back to the mini cube. Let's click on the right side of the mini cube, the right grid. Let's get your rectangle tool. Choose a different fill color. All right, I'm going to start at the top, the top edge. I'm going to click, drag out, drag down to the bottom edge. And there's my right side of my cube. All right, this is above the horizon line. We can see the bottom of this cube, bug's eye view. All right, so let's do the bottom of the cube. Go back to the perspective grid tool. Go back to the mini cube. Click on the bottom of the mini cube, the horizontal grid. All right, make sure you got your black arrow. Click away to deselect everything. Go get your rectangle tool. Choose a different fill color. All right, I'm going to start at the back bottom corner, and I'm going to click and drag out to the right bottom corner to finish off my cube. All right, next up is just our cube on the horizon line. So let's go ahead. Right now we have the bottom or horizontal grid active. Let's go back to the perspective grid tool. Let's go ahead and click on the right side of the mini cube for right grid. All right, make sure you've clicked away. You've deselected all previous rectangles. All right, I'm going to get my fill color that I've been using for the left receding planes. Oh, I'm sorry, we're on the right. We're on the right grid. All right, right plane. All right, so here's my horizon line. Let's make one on the horizon line. Okay, there's my right-hand side on the horizon line. All right, let's go back to the perspective grid tool. Go back to the mini cube, click on the left side of the mini cube for the left grid. All right, get your black arrow, deselect. Make sure that previous one is deselected. Go get that rectangle tool and a different fill color. All right, I'll start at the top of my edge. Click, drag back, and down to the bottom. All right, now, can we see the top or the bottom on a cube that's on the horizon line? Well, not in this instance, no. So that cube is finished. All right, here's our above the horizon line or bug's eye view, horizon line, and 
below horizon line or bird's eye view. All right, go ahead and save that. And we're going to move on to starting the city scene. 